children how are you all i hope you all fine and safe at home children are you ready okay let's begin our class children in the previous class we have learned about first aid tips for cuts and scratches fractures and burns children what is first aid yes first aid is the first or immediate help given to injured people before they are taken to a hospital children what first aid should be given to a person for cuts and scratches yes for that first we have to clean the wound with running water to remove dirt then apply an antiseptic cream and cover the wound with a clean and dry gauze or bandage okay how do you help a person who has fractured his bone yes it is very important to not move the fractured part a cloth sling or a splint should immediately be tied around the fracture to hold it and the person must be rushed to the hospital immediately what first aid should be given to a person for burns in case of minor burns wash the burn area under cool running water for some time then apply antiseptic cream or a paste of baking soda on the burn in case of chemical burns remove the clothes around the burnt area place the wound under cool running water dry and loosely wrap a clean bandage around it and call the doctor immediately or rush the victim to the hospital immediately in case of a severe burn a doctor must be called immediately any blister if formed must not be pricked also do not try to remove any piece of cloth stuck to the burnt area or apply any cream or ointment children today we are going to learn first aid tips for nose bleeds sprains and animal bites first first aid for nose bleeds nose bleeds are very common and sometimes can stop on their own however we can follow a few first aid tips to stop bleeding make the person sit up with his head tilted upwards then put an ice pack or a wet cloth on the nose of the victim then hold and pinch the soft portion of the nose carefully for at least 5 minutes and ask the patient to breathe through the mouth this will put pressure on the bleeding portion and the bleeding will stop next first aid for nose bleeds nose bleeds are very common and sometimes can stop on their own however a few first aid tips always come handy make the person sit up with his head tilted upwards hold and pinch the soft portion of the nose carefully for at least 5 minutes to stop the bleed first aid for sprains a sprain is a condition when the tissues around the joint are torn a sprain generally occurs around wrist and ankles when they are suddenly twisted sometimes the joint swells up and may also form a bruise in such cases make the person sit in a comfortable position and apply an ice pack to the area this will help reduce the swelling then do not apply the ice directly then carefully bandage the swollen area to limit movement the person should 
made to rest keeping the sprained area above the position of the heart while lying down next first aid for sprains a sprain generally occurs around wrists and ankles when they are suddenly twisted sometimes the joint swells up and may also form a bruise in such cases make the person sit in a comfortable position and apply an ice pack to the area however do not apply the ice directly then carefully bandage the swollen area to limit movement the person should be made to rest keeping the sprained area above the position of the heart while lying down first aid for animal bites animal bites are commonly caused by pets such as cats and dogs children do you have pets in your home uh, yes the bites of dogs monkeys or cats can cause a deadly disease very dangerous disease that is called rabies the risk of rabies is high or if bitten by stray animals stray animals means that is street from the uh, is unknown animals in case of an animal bite wash the wound with soap and water as this removes the deadly germs then cover it with a clean bandage to prevent infection then take the victim to the doctor immediately and get an anti rabies injection children for bee stings the honey bee bite apply a paste of baking soda or toothpaste for wasp stings wasp ha children have you seen wasp no in tamil kulavi yeah stings we have to apply vinegar or lemon juice next first aid for snake bite in case of a snake bite the patient needs immediate attention when a snake bites it puts its venom venom means poison in the victim's blood the poisonous blood quickly goes to the heart and the nervous system and causing death so it is very important to calm the person down do not allow any movement of the bitten arm or leg in order to keep the poison from spreading through the body tie a tight bandage just above the bite this will help to slow down the speed of poison laden blood from reaching the heart and the brain then keep the bitten area lower than the heart clean the wound with water then cover it with a clean dry dressing do not apply ice do not cut the wound to take out venom take the victim to the hospital immediately first aid for animal bites the most common animal bites are caused by pets such as cats and dogs animal bites can cause a disease called rabies the risk of rabies is high if bitten by stray animals in case of an animal bite wash the wound with running water and cover it with a clean bandage take the person to the doctor immediately for bee stings apply a paste of baking soda or toothpaste for wasp stings apply vinegar or lemon juice snake bites however can be very deadly if not treated properly it is very important in this case to calm the person down the steps to follow in case of a snake bite are Do not allow any movement of the bitten arm or leg in order to keep the venom from spreading through the body. Position the victim such that the bite lies below the level of the heart. Clean the wound with water, but do not flush. Cover it with a clean, 
dry dressing. Do not apply ice or try to cut the wound to take out venom. Take the victim to the hospital immediately. Children, what first aid would you give to a person who has been bitten by a dog? Yes, in case of dog bite, wash the wound with running water and cover it with a clean bandage. Then take the victim to the hospital immediately. Next, first aid for nose bleeds. For that, make the person sit up with his head tilted upwards. Hold and pinch the soft portion of the nose carefully for at least 5 minutes to stop bleeding. Next, first aid for sprains. In such cases, make the person sit in a comfortable position and apply an ice pack to the area. Then carefully bandage the swollen area to limit movement. The person should be made to rest. Then keeping the sprained area above the position of the heart while lying down. In case of bee stings, apply a paste of baking soda or toothpaste. In case of vas stings, apply vinegar or lemon juice. Children, copy the notes in your science booklet or should write neatly. Question number 6. What first aid would you give to a person who has been bitten by a dog? In case of a dog bite, wash the wound with running water and cover it with a clean bandage. Take the person to the doctor immediately. Activity, write any five safety rules that we should follow at home. Children, let us do the book exercises. For that, open page number 42. Problem number 1, filling the blanks with the correct words. Dash clothes should not be worn while cooking. Synthetic clothes. In case of gas leak, all doors and windows should be opened. Firefighters normally put out fires with the help of water. We can avoid accidents by following safety rules. In case of minor burns, we can apply paste of baking soda. Write T for the true and F for the false statement. All accidents are caused by fires. False. In case of fires caused by electrical fires, we should use sand. True. Fire from petrol is put out using water. False. Most cuts and scratches need antiseptic ointments to be applied on them for a few days. True. All fractured bones need to be Put under cool running water. False. Problem number 3. Choose the correct option. Which of these can cause a fire? Option A. Carelessness while handling burning matchsticks. Electrical faults. Cooking gas leaks. So answer all of these. Which of these would you use in case of a cut or wound? Gauze and bandage. Which of these could cause burns. Option A. Fires and hot liquids. Friction from clothes. Option C. Chemicals. So answer all of these. In case of nosebleed, the person should sit with the head tilted up. Which, are, which part of the body is injured in case of a spray? Ligament. In case of a snake bite, the person should be positioned such that the bite lies below the heart level. Which of these is caused by animal bites? Rabies. Which of these would you use in bee stings? A paste of baking soda. Match the columns. 
பீ ஸ்டிங்ஸ் பேக்கிங் சோடா வேஸ் ஸ்டிங்ஸ் வினீகர் கட்ஸ் ஆன்டிசெப்டிக் கிரீம் ஃப்ராக்சர் க்ளோத் ஸ்லிங் கெமிக்கல் பேர்ன் கூல் ரன்னிங் வாட்டர் வெரி ஷார்ட் ஆன்சர் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் நம்பர் ஒன் கிவ் டு எக்ஸாம்பிள்ஸ் ஆஃப் த ஃபாலோயிங் சில்ட்ரன் ஹியூர் நாட் ஹவ் என் ஸ்பேஸ் டு ரைட் த ஆன்சர்ஸ் ஸோ டேக் எ ஷீட் ஆஃப் பேப்பர் ரைட் த ஆன்சர்ஸ் அண்ட் பேஸ்ட் இட் ஹியூர் சே லைக் திஸ் பேஸ்ட் த ஆன்சர்ஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் காசஸ் ஆஃப் ஃபயர் ஆன்சர் எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் ஃபால்ஸ் கேஸ் லீக்ஸ் நம்பர் டூ திங்ஸ் டு டூ டியூரிங் ஏ கேஸ் லீக் ஸ்விட்ச் ஆஃப் ஆல் எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் அப்ளையன்சஸ் ஓப்பன் டோர்ஸ் அண்ட் விண்டோஸ் வேஸ் டு அவாய்ட் ஃபயர் கேர்ஃபுல்லி ஹேண்ட்லிங் ஃபயர் வயரிங் செக் ரெகுலர்லி திங்ஸ் டு டூ இன் கேஸ் someone catches fire person should be made to roll on the floor cover with blanket ways to put out fire using fire extinguisher using sand number 2 give one word for the following a special instrument that we can use to put out small fires fire extinguisher the immediate help given to an injured person first aid a break or crack in the bone fracture this is caused when we twist the angle or the wrist suddenly sprain this holds the fracture in place till the injured is taken to a hospital splint thank you children have a nice day